Tell me about how you got the idea. You were a co-founder of Rotten Tomatoes. How, how did that come about? So it was actually the idea of my co-founder, Sen Duong. So before Rotten Tomatoes, I had a design firm. And we were doing a lot of web design for the entertainment industry. And Sen was one of our creative directors. And the idea he had was basically, he was a huge Jackie Chan fan. And when the movie Rush Hour was coming out, he's like, I want to know what everyone's saying about this movie. So he went out to the library and gathered all the reviews he could find for Rush Hour. And then he decided to put it all in one place, slapped a name on it, Rotten Tomatoes, and launched it. Could you ever imagine that how huge your company has become? So even within that first year, it started getting no noticed like immediately. It was getting you know cool side of the day, week, month on like Yahoo and Netscape. Uh, Roger Ebert, the film critic, actually wrote an article for a magazine where he pointed out his favorite movie sites, and Rotten Tomatoes was one of them. And when Pixar released A Bug's Life, the day they released it, we we saw a big spike in traffic, and it was coming from Pixar. And that was all within the first year. So we could tell pretty early, like, hey, there's something here. Do you personally have a love of, of movies and film? Is, is that what sparked it for you? So my two co-founders, uh, Steven and Sen, they were the big movie buffs. Sen was a huge movie buff. That's how he wanted to make this thing. Steven is also like a giant movie buff. I do love movies, but I'm much more of like the summer blockbuster guy. So sci-fi, comedy, I love all these comic book movies that are coming out. Like that's my stuff. Um, but like typically like when the Oscars roll around, when they were five movies for best picture, I would have normally seen zero. And once they went to 10, I'd be like, oh, Black Panther, I've seen that. And the other nine, like nothing. Um, I, so I'm much more of like the summer blockbuster guy, the, the mainstream user. Well, now it's gotten to the point where people don't even look at the movie. They look at see what the Rotten Tomatoes rating is. Uh, what, what's your feeling on that? Um, I think it's a useful metric to kind of get a sense, like prepare you. You know, uh, a lot of times what, the way it started was like, you know, it's a Friday night and you're like, we want to see a movie, but what should we see? And the thing is, when you go in, you know, you're going to spend you know, two people or a whole family going to see a movie, a decent amount of money and three to five hours of your time if you're throwing in dinner and all those other things. So when you're having that kind of level of commitment to something, it doesn't hurt to have some kind of rating beforehand. And so one thing with Rotten Tomatoes was, yes, if, if they decide to look at it and they're thinking about seeing this movie and it has a really bad rating, that might be bad for that movie. At the same time, it's, it could be good for other movies especially like maybe movies with lower budgets, uh, marketing budgets, like limited release or independent movies that might have a very high score. Someone's like, I want to go see this one movie, it's got 20%, but oh, what's this other movie that's like 90%? I don't know anything about it. And they might watch a trailer for it and decide to watch that instead. You know, and I think it, it's bad in some ways for some movies, but for the ones that do well, it's good for them. Well, coming up, isn't it amazing that a movie like Parasite is getting so much play. Uh, what's your feeling on, on a film like that competing with the big boys? I mean, I think it's awesome. I saw the movie, it was, it's wild, it's, it's crazy. It's not like anything I've really seen before. Um, and it's, it's very cool to see a movie like that that's like all Asian faces. I mean, obviously it's, it's based in Korea, but you don't really see that many movies like that in the theaters here and to be, you know, Oscar buzz and all that kind of stuff. So it, it's really good, it's really refreshing. Great, you have a favorite for Best Picture this year? I, like I said, I've only seen a couple of them, so I hope I'm rooting for Parasite. Like that would be cool if it wins. Great. Yeah. Asians. Yes. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Take care.